Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and I am still in my pajamas because that is how today is going. But we have a solution because today my Stitch Fix box arrived. It has been quite a while actually since I have done a Stitch Fix unboxing here on my channel. It was a wild year last year and hopefully we can get back into the swing of things in 2023. But Let's talk about Stitch Fix for anyone who might be unaware. It is a clothing subscription service that will send you five pieces of clothing anywhere between every month, every other month, or every three months. It does have a styling fee, which is then deducted from the cost of the box. And if you decide that you like everything in the box, you also get 25% off of your entire keep. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I have in my box. All right, so this is what my bundle looks like, and I have to say, I'm nervous for a few different reasons. So here recently, they have started sending an email letting you know what they're thinking of putting in your box, and you can say whether or not you like it or whether or not you don't like it, and I'm pretty sure I rejected everything on that list. So I'm really nervous. Also, um, I think I see some repeats in here for me, which is always a bit frustrating. Typically, I've been a big fan of Stitch Fix, but it seems like here recently, I've been getting a ton of duplicates, which like, y'all have my history of all the stuff that you've already sent me. It seems like it should be pretty easy not to send me the same stuff again, but I digress. Let's see what's in here. So the first thing on top, which I am... Uh, it isn't what I thought it was, but I'll be honest, it's not an improvement. What is this? It's like they ran out of fabric. Oh, you know what it's like? It's like dum-dums. So you know when you buy a bag of dum-dums, there's like cherry and grape and apple and all the flavors that they tell you what it is until you get to the ones that are mystery. And the mystery there is that when they're almost out of the previous flavor, they start the next flavor and it's just a mix of those two so that they can use like every drop. That is what this looks like. This looks like the Dum Dum mystery sucker that you get in the bag. What is this? Not happy about that. All right, moving on. This feels really soft. It is also by Pink Clover, which I have had um, real good luck with Pink Clover in the past. So it is just a sweater. It's almost like a charcoal gray but it has these really cute little buttons here just as kind of a decorative touch. All right, I'm not angry about that. Um, this is from Market and Spruce, also a company that I've historically had really good luck with. My last box, they sent me this in pink. Is it comfortable and nice and super soft? Yes. But you already sent it to me in pink. Also from Pink Clover, we have this top, which this is cute. It's kind of a khaki olive green stripe um, that kind of alternates in thickness. I'm okay with this. I'm all right with that. And then we have a pair of jeans that look like this. They are the Elise Curvy Fit Mid-Rise Slim Boot. This just based on the description. I'm okay with that. I do tend to prefer either straight leg or boot cut um, and something that's a little bit higher waisted. The fact that the ultra low waist is coming back in trend uh, is not my favorite thing. I remember that from, you know, 20 year old Ashley um, and 40 year old Ashley with three kids could definitely not fit into that trend. So let's go ahead and try all this on and see how it all fits. All right, so let's start with this ridiculousness of a shirt. Like, this comes out of, what, Too Faced's wardrobe? Come on now. If it was just this side, that would be a cute shirt. If it was just this side, that would be a cute shirt. This whole, like, two-tone business does not work for me. I'm also, honestly, not a big fan of the tie just because I got a little extra here that I feel like this can sometimes highlight. Now, on the other hand, the jeans... The jeans are really comfortable. They fit really well in the waist without being too tight. 
They're of a really nice length. I like the jeans. I like the dark color. The jeans are good. The shirt just feels ridiculous to me at this point. This is the first sweater that we pulled out and I really like this one a lot. It's a nice thick fabric without feeling like it's stifling or heavy. It's really soft. I didn't notice it has these faux rolled cuffs that are sewn in so that they don't lose their shape. And the little buttons on the top are honestly really cute. This I like. This I like quite a bit in fact. I'm very happy with the way that this falls and I, I do like this one a lot. So this is the sweater. This is the sweater in pink that they sent me the last box. I mean, is it a nice sweater? Yes. It is very soft. It is a little bit on the thinner side, which is good for once winter starts transitioning into spring and you have some days that are kind of cool but not quite warm yet. You know what I'm talking about, that very in-between sort of thing. Great for layering. I really like the waffle texture. Again, it's very soft and very comfortable, but do I need it in two colors? Do I really need it in that soft pink and this cream color? Probably not, probably not. And finally, we have the striped shirt that came in this box. Again, I, I like the way that it falls. It's of a good length without being too like tunicky long, but it's also not too short. Um, I think that the fabric feels really nice. It's very cooling. I don't know if that makes sense or not. Like the fabric feels substantial, but it also feels cool. I hope that makes sense. Sheets can sometimes be that way. They're really soft, but you get in and they feel a little bit chilly. Like this has that same sort of feel to it, which again, I like. This is a good transition piece from going from winter into spring, should spring ever decide to grace us with its presence. And I do like it. I think that it's it's a nice shirt. All right, so now you've seen all of the pieces on and I think you've pretty much gathered my overall opinion on this box. Uh, not my favorite. <laughs> there were definitely some high points and some low points. So let's talk about the cost of everything, what everything is and what, if anything, I might be keeping. So the first thing is uh, this top. Dropped my pricing guide. Try that again. So <laughs> the first thing is this top. Um, this is the Pink Clover Denver Knot Front Knit Top in Beige. Size large, $38. No ma'am, no. The next item that I pulled out, we'll just kind of go in the order that I stacked to them up, is also from Pink Clover this top right here. This is also pink clover. I said that the Valencia curved hem sweater in olive size large retails for $46. Putting that in the maybe. This sweater, which I really did like quite a bit. Also from pink. Wait. Hold on. Am I ridiculous? No, that's pink clover. That's pink clover. They, okay. So this is the first time that this has ever happened. So this sweater, if you can see that, says pink clover. That is what is stitched into it. Um, hmm. The sheet that they gave me as it listed otherwise as staccato. I don't really know what to make of that. Staccato, Carson, crew neck, button detail, dark gray, large, $48. I'm confused. I'm confused. Are they the same, are they the same company? Company? I don't really know what to make of that. That's weird. Okay. Um, the last top is from Market and Spruce. This is the Jackson Crew Neck Waffle Sweater in beige, size large, retails for $44. And then finally, we have Silver Jeans Company. 
This is the Elise Slim Bootcut Jean Indigo, size 14, that retails for $88. So if I decided that I wanted to keep the whole box, which, spoiler alert, don't think we're going to be doing that, um, it would normally retail for $264, but as I said, you do get 25% off, which would be $66 off the box, minus my $20 styling fee for a total of $178. So here's where the real question lies. Depending on what we decide to keep, what is going to be the most cost-effective option to keep the things that you want. So, pull up my handy dandy calculator. The jeans I liked, so those are $88. The questionable sweater with the buttons on it is $48. And the striped shirt is $46. Which, my friends, leads us to, can you see that? Is it going to focus? Probably not. Um, $182. So does it make more financial sense to keep the whole stinking thing for $178? It does. And I don't feel great about that, to be honest. I mean, I would get use out of the cream colored sweater. Cause like I said, I like the pink one just fine. And I guess I could use the really weird two-tone shirt as like a workout shirt, but that just feels, that just feels wasteful. I don't feel great about this interaction. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to do some research <laughs> into that mislabeled top. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments below about what your experience with Stitch Fix has been. Like I said, uh, mine has typically been overall positive, though it has been arguably um, deteriorating a little bit over the past year or two. But that is, uh, mm, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I feel like I'm really sassy in this video and I don't really know how to close it out. So let me know what your thoughts are. I will update the description box below to let you know what, if anything, I kept chat it over with the hubs, see what he thinks of the whole thing. And yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I hope that you'll consider doing so. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I hope that you're having an amazing day and I will see you next time. Bye.